Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this video tutorial, we will program CC2650 sensor tag. Let me first uh, explain you simple link CC2650 wireless MCU. It has especially two ARM core. First one is ARM Cortex M3, it is a 32 bit, and another one is ARM Cortex M0. So, this ARM Cortex M0 is completely dedicated for a radio frequency. As you know, this microcontroller have Bluetooth and Zigbee support and 6 low pan support on the chip. On this single chip, it has all these three supports. So, these wireless protocol and stacks, so it is controlled by this ARM Cortex M0. And another main CPU, host controller, is supported by ARM Cortex M3. It has a JTAG ROM and 128 kilobyte flash and it also has 8kb cache and 20kb static ram and it also have two another module general purpose peripheral modules and the sensor controller modules in a sensor controller modules it has a sensor controller engine and 12 bit adc the maximum sampling rate of the adc is 200 kilo sample per second and it has a two comparator and also it has SPI, I2C, digital sensor and also it has a constant current source uh, and uh, uh, time to digital converter and 2KB static RAM and general peripheral module has I2C supports, UART, I2S and uh, microcontrollers comes into 3 package which has 10 GPIO support, 15 GPIO and 31 GPIO support and also it has advanced encryption security support there and 32 channel micro DMA and there are 4 uh, 32 bit timers and 2 SSI SPI supports and watchdog timer and a random generator and it also has a temperature and the poetry monitor on the chip and there is RTC control on this chip and if you want to know more you can come here the wiki supports of the BLE it has uh, all the links which you need to get start this sensor tag to program and uh, so you can uh, click on this link so that you can buy directly from a TI store and uh, with these links you can go to the launch pad and the sensor tag support page and uh, there are some other designs remote control designs and uh, module booster packs you can see and uh, if you want uh, another products you can go here and see those products and these are the IDE which supports to program this controller and uh, application notes are also available here it is into the PDF form you can click on any links and uh, it will lead you to the another page where you can download a PDF and learn about these application notes if you want to learn about the technical data sheet you can just click on any of these links and it will lead you to the another page where you will find a PDF documents and one of the most important things to get start you need to avail, download a BLE stack version 2.2 and if you click on this uh, link it will lead you to the new page and this page from here you can download this BLE stack okay and uh, if you download this BLE stack here you can see it has described it has a full support for core features of BLE 4.2 and uh, it has a lots of examples so if you click on here it will lead you to the another page where you need to sign in and then you can download it okay fine so if you download it and then install it, it will automatically install all the necessary drive of uh, sensor tag. So if you install it, you can come and see here in a simple link, BLESDK in the example folder, you can see here a sensor tag example, fine. So there are five examples are there, a sensor tag examples, CCS, it has especially a three, sorry, it has especially the two program the application program and the stack program so stack program is uh, for uh, stack program is for a VLE stack and here the application program is for the onboard peripheral 
okay and you can uh, export you can import these uh, examples into the code composer studio and if you, I show you here in the code composer studio I already uh, imported this project here uh, there are two files sensor tag stack and uh, sensor tag application so this stack especially have all the Bluetooth programs okay and uh, this these two programs are uh, interconnected with the I call that is the indirect call let me tell you about the cloud ID here Texas instrument have a cloud ID you can come to this cloud ID by typing this address dev.ti.com slash id and uh, before this let me tell you about the ti resource explorer into the ti resource explorer you can find all the examples which you need to get start this which you need to get to start with this uh, texas instrument sensor tag here if you click on this bluetooth is smart you can find here a development tools okay and here it is a sensor tag and if you come to the sensor tag you can find here examples and there are lots of documents okay so into the examples there is a sensor tag example what you can do you can just uh, yeah, click on this uh, sensor tag examples and then it will uh, you can get a uh, here uh, you can get an um, uh, option to download this this uh, you can get an option to download this uh, example projects on your desktop or you can import this to the CCS cloud and if you click on any of this uh, uh, import to CCS cloud link buttons either this one or this one it will automatically uh, import these two folders into the uh, these two programs into the CCS cloud okay so what you need to do here you just right click here and uh, build this sensor tag stack example and uh, then here you need to build this one sensor tag okay now let's wait for a minute it is building there everything is built there okay fine now let me tell you one more thing the flash of the sensor tag is organized in such a way you need to first program sensor tag is tag and then you need to program the sensor tag so you just run this program first sensor tag is tag and if you are running a first time this program it will ask you to install a TI agent click on OK and let uh, uh, this IDE to install TI cloud agent on your computer so using this TI cloud agent uh, this uh, uh, IDE makes a connection with the sensor tag so after this simply uh, you can burn the sensor tag example and also you have another uh, option to program this using a smart rf flash programmer okay so what you need to do with this uh, smart rf flash programmer uh, you can build this uh, you can build these examples in your offline uh, code composer studio okay just right click and build this project and you can go into the, this background and then right click and build this project okay if you build these two projects it will create a hex file a two hex file actually huh? two hex file and then you can give a path to those hex file so here I have given a path to the first hex file before selecting this you need to select here a multiple flash images and then browse this first one hex file sensor tag cc2650 stk stack and then you need to select the second one is a application hex file okay and just click on here okay then it will automatically reconnect with your uh, sensor tag and here you can see a detail of uh, uh, microcontroller CC2650 it has a flash size 128 KB and 20 KB RAM so in action click on erase program and verify in erase please select uh, all unprotected pages and in program 
uh, entire source file and then to the verify a CRC check and you can see select here a read back and just click on here okay so it will automatically connect with the debugger xds debugger and here it will show you a reset target and reset target successfully now you must see uh, your uh, sensor tag must uh, start a uh, blinking okay a green led blink at every one second and then what you can uh, what then uh, after this what you can do you can start your mobile phone okay and uh, just go just start a simple sensor tag okay a simple link sensor tag if you don't have uh, the sensor tag please download it from the uh, google play okay from a play store download it and then you will see there is a bluetooth smart device and just click on it okay so it is generating a gui and it found 12 services with a total of 34 characteristics on this device which is transmitting uh, by the sensor tag and now you can see here uh, device information service okay and the firmware is 1.30 it is updated at uh, on 26 October and here you can see uh, ambient temperature data is 33.7 degree Celsius IR temperature is measuring around 24 degree Celsius as you know the sensor tag have IR temperature sensor TMP007 humidity is uh, 69.7 and the barometer is reading almost 902.8 millibar and here it is a motion data now let me disturb my sensor tag now you can see i am disturbing here the sensor tag okay so the first one is accelerometer xyz uh, and uh, second one data is xyz the gyroscope and the third one here this third one is is a magnetometer reading and then here you can see Luxometer data light intensity let me disturb my sensor tag now you can see here light intensity is changing even if you want uh, a continuous data means a more periodic just you come to the 100 milliseconds and save it now it will just start a very high data transmission for the uh, for the motion data okay and uh, if you want to uh, stop this sensor then just change the sensor state now the motion sensor that is MPU9250 has been stopped by the host microcontroller okay so that's all for this video tutorial and uh, if you want a more video tutorial so stay tuned and uh, subscribe this channel thank you for watching